to be as part of our healthy living. Um, we are, we, we have the unique, we have a wonderful honor to have with us um, world renowned, uh, locally branded, uh, Louisiana, uh, you know, Louisiana uh, person, veteran, uh, Miss Chef Celeste. So Chef, let's tell everyone hello, Chef, all right? Hi, everybody. Hey. I'm glad you're here with us. And I, I know you're going to enjoy the video. And I look forward to chatting with you afterwards. Oh, this is going to be fun. You know, Chef has her AARP shirt on. And, yes. and look, and for those of us, if you don't know Chef, you look, Chef is uh, yeah. a veteran, of course, um, a great chef, and, and also looking for uh, looking for healthier options to provide to us. So so that's, this is why we're so excited to have her here. This will be the first of three that we're going to have. The first one's today on June 15th. The next one will be on June 30th. And then we have another one on July 28th. So we definitely want you to come back. We're going to have a great time. And before each of the sessions, we're going to share with you the, um, the mm -hmm. recipes just so that you can have it. You can cook it at a later date. The chef is going to give you all the insider information on how to do yeah. that, okay, which is great. But before we go any further, chef, would you mind just sharing everyone a little bit, sharing a couple of minutes about your background and um, tell us a little bit about Chef Celeste, if you don't mind, please. Okay, well, everyone, I am a Detroit native. I grew up there I'm in the kitchen at a very young age. And through traveling, traveling around in different places, I landed here in Louisiana and I absolutely love it. So just marrying the type of cuisines together, um, that's my style of cooking is um, I take traditional food and I like to just kind of lighten it up a little bit to show people that you can add herbs, spices and, and different combinations to offset some of the salt that we have in our diet. So I just try to make our dishes a little bit healthier than what we're already doing. So um, that is what I love to do. I have a few restaurants here in town and um, I just love all things food. And Troy already knows, which you will find out. Also, I love AARP. I had been waiting on my AARP card since I was like 30 years old. So, um, so I could take advantage of the benefits. And my card was actually a birthday present when I was old enough to receive it. So I was excited about that. So yes, I'm decked out in my AARP shirt. I have my red on here. I have on red shoes. <laughs> so I am just all excited for today. I'm excited to share one of my favorite res recipes with you. Uh, my sauteed shrimp, um, I've been working on that for years. And I actually turned that into a sauce that um, we have out here um, with the honey mustard. So Troy, I think that's about that's about me in a nutshell, huh? Well, no, that's great. And uh, look, let, let me tell you right now, I'm excited. I, I'm getting hungry. You know what I mean? And uh, I should have eaten before I came here, but <laughs> I have the recipe. I can follow yes. the instructions and we're definitely going to, I'm definitely going to cook that. Uh, just want to make sure uh, that everyone can hear both Chef and I very clearly. Uh, just just give me some, a little, little chat text or something. Let me know that you can hear us good. And um, because now we're going to be ready to go ahead and start the video and it's going to be uh, lots of fun. So look, I, I know they probably, you know, Chef, they maybe want to hear me speak for the next 45 minutes, but I think I'll be quiet. And, as <laughs> have, and look, you can't see her, but she's in the background just making this all happen. This is Jessica Wire. She's in the back. She's one of my colleagues that works with me and makes all this stuff look real nice and pretty. So just say hello to everybody, Jessica. Hello, I'm here. Sorry, I had to unmute. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Jessica's making it all happen in the background and she'll be working with us with Q&As as well. So look, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, Jessica, roll the tape and everyone sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's do it. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Celeste, and today we're gonna to make my sauteed shrimp salad. It's one of my favorites, and I know it's gonna be one of yours too. So let's go over the ingredients. We have our shrimp, you can use jumbo shrimp, you can use fresh or frozen, either one is fine. I love to use USA products, so let's do that. Then we have our onions, we have tomatoes, I have my red onions, 
We have on this side over here, I have tomatoes, more cherry tomatoes, some spinach, some olive mix. I have some musclin mix here. So use your favorite type of lettuce. And um, for our vinaigrette, we're gonna have our apple cider vinegar. I have local honey, get local in your area. And I have mustard, and we will talk about mustard a little bit later because I have a love with mustard also. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to make honey mustard to go along with that. So in there, I'm gonna heat my pan and we're gonna just start to warm the pan up. We're gonna add our olive oil in here. So I'm gonna let that heat for a minute. So while this is heating, let me tell you how excited I am. I have been in love with AARP for about 20 some odd years, about 25 years. Since I was about 30 years old, 27 years. And when I got my first AARP card, I was so happy. It was actually a birthday present. And I was just a happy camper because now I have my AARP card. So I went and, and I love the benefits that go along with it. But right now, during COVID, I want to show you some healthy eating tips and teach you different ways of um, eating healthy while you're home without having all the snacks and sugary stuff like that. Because I know a lot of you, myself included, would tend to lean more towards the sugary items. We need to get away from that. Don't keep it in your house. Just go get your snack from the store when you want it. That way you won't have it around the house all the time. So beforehand, I roasted some garlic. And what I did, I didn't put any oil on here. I just took my garlic and put it in my pan, put it in a preheated oven on 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And what happens when you take that out, it just kind of oozes on out of there and you got nice roasted garlicky goodness. So that's going in, let's just squeeze that. You hear that sizzle? That's what we wanna hear. Now, I'm gonna add some shrimp in here. You need that sizzle. Okay, shrimp, garlic, olive oil. That is all that is in here right now. Now we're gonna spice it up a bit. I'm gonna add some crushed red peppers. Then we have some parsley that we put in here. Let's add a little pinch of salt and pepper. You see that pinch? Not a whole lot. Salt should not be your main focus when you're seasoning your food. Get some fresh herbs and spices in there, which we will do in a second. Then I'm gonna add some garlic, some more granulated garlic. You cannot have too much garlic in here. Now I'm gonna reduce the heat just a little bit and we're gonna continue to let that simmer. You see how it's starting to change color on you. You're getting a little bit of pink in here. You're getting a little bit of browning on the bottom and all that's gonna come up in just a little bit. We're gonna add some paprika. I like to use Hungarian paprika. It just adds that nice smoky flavor to it. So if you're a novice to cooking, look how easy this is. If you're a pro, add some of your own special touches to it and just make it your own recipe. So that's what I like to tell people when they're doing things like this here. Now, if you're eating alone at home, don't worry about that. What you wanna do is still just enjoy your meals, cook something for yourself, make it nice and special, and just treat yourself at home, just like you would be cooking for family or, for, or going out to a restaurant. Enjoy yourselves when you're at home cooking. Okay, now we're gonna add some honey in here. You're gonna make your vinaigrette right in here. So that's gonna be about three tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna add my apple cider vinegar. About a quarter cup. Now that's gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan. You see that sizzle on there? You're getting a nice color. You're getting all that good stuff in there. So you may wonder, where does the mustard come in? Now, I can eat mustard by the spoonful. I love mustard. That's how I came up with making the honey mustard shrimp salad. Put as little or as much as you like in there. Now stir. Look at that. You're making honey mustard in the pot. 
So, take the same recipe. If you're not a fan of shrimp, turn it into chicken. This can be a sauteed chicken salad. This can be an all veggie salad. If you have something for, that you're growing in the garden, go out there, pick it, pull it, and saute it up. If you go into the farmer's market, same thing, just saute it up and enjoy your meal. You don't have to make cooking fancy or complicated. Because when I'm in the kitchen, I'm not in the kitchen to do a complicated meal. Can I do that? Yes. Do I want to do that? No. Now, I'm just tearing my green onions up because I don't want you to try and look for a knife to do that. You just tear it up, put it in there. Look at what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be complicated. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use a knife if you want to do that. I'm gonna take another piece. Look at how I'm holding my knife. And I'm gonna take this off the heat now because now we're about done. We don't want to kill the shrimp. It's already in the pot, ready for us. Okay, look at this. Look at my knife. My finger is here, my thumb is here. It gives you support. And my knuckles are right here. So I always have control. Slice. I'm looking at you. I can close my eyes. I can do whatever I want to do. So we can slice. And you can drop that on there nice and pretty. But like I, like I said, I am not that technical. So I think I want some onion in there. We need some onion, right? Cut the tip off. I'm going to cut the other side off, and I'm going to peel. We're going to cut this into julienne strips, and I'll show you how to do that. Nice and simple. That's all you're doing. We're going to keep it like that. Just open it up in here. And yes, this is the order. Don't put your onions in first. It will still taste good, but I want you to have some of that crunch left from the red onion. And then we're gonna add some of the diced onions in here too. Now I'm gonna bring that back. Let me add some diced yellow onions. And I don't know why they call it yellow onion because it's actually white, look at that. But we're gonna add that in there. And still no heat. All of this is off the heat now. Now we want tomatoes. Let me tell you something about tomatoes. I'm a chef that looks in the trash can. So when we're in the restaurant and you slice your tomato, the tendency is to throw this away. But why would you throw it away? That's wasteful. So what we're going to do, put your finger right here, slice. And everything that you're doing, make sure you, you have clean hands, OK? So I actually washed my hands before we started. So make sure you have, that you're using clean hands. And by all means, for those of you that do what I'm about to say, please stop. Do not double dip in the pot. If you're feeding everyone, then you get different tasting spoons, OK? Because we want to be safe during this time right now. You don't want to spread any germs or anything like that. You know, AARP is about healthy seniors healthy living, and this is one of the ways to stay nice, healthy, and safe. So now we've added our tomatoes in. So I'm gonna slice a piece off and put the other one over here. You can use your heirloom tomatoes from your garden. Whichever ones you wanna do, that's what you use. So now, how do I want that? And I say, how do I want that? Because when you're cooking, it's your recipe. Whatever you wanna do, however you wanna fix it, that's how you make it. That kind of reminds me of a, if, you, if you're making a painting or whatever, it's your painting. Food is art. So what you put in your body is, you know, good things. That's how you want to feel when you're cooking. That's how I want to feel when I'm cooking. So, got my bowl. I have my lettuce here. I have my spinach. You thought I was going to cook the spinach, huh? Nope. Fresh spinach more nutrients. And you're going to layer this in. This is not just for me. This is for a couple of people. So we have that on here. Now, remember I said if you're a novice, you just you know do your basics. I'm not a novice. So I am going to add some olive mix in here. If you like olive mix, put it in there. I want you to try something new in your recipes and in your diet in general. Add some more fruit. Add some more vegetables in there. We have a good mixture of this on here. 
Then let's take some yellow and a green tomato wedges. Just shred that around there. Do this. I like to play with my food. I always have. So that's one of the things with me being a chef and looking at AARP um, for all these years, I am so excited to be sharing this recipe with you because this is like a dream come true because I just think AARP is just the end all for seniors. And you should think the same way too because it's so much information that comes out. Good information. Look at that. Put it right on top. You have your nice warm shrimp going on here, but you don't want to put this on before you're ready to eat because again, it's warm. So look at that. Nice, warm, sauteed shrimp salad. So I'm going to set this over to the side for a minute. And we're going to slow it back down for a second. And I'm going to teach you how to take this same vinaigrette and use it as a cold vinaigrette. So now let's start with the mustard. You want about two tablespoons of mustard in there. Let's go back in with the honey. We're gonna go with about three tablespoons of the honey. That kind of balances it out. What you see in here, again, we are not wasting anything. I do have a rubber spatula over here. So when we finish, I'm gonna clear all of this out. So a rubber spatula is your best friend in the kitchen. Let's take some more of our apple cider vinegar. Pour that in. I like vinegar. So we're going to use a lot of vinegar. Now, we have that in there. Let me take my rubber spatula. You want to fold in the mustard at first because you don't want to splash everywhere. So now, let's get that fold in there. This one we're going to spice up a bit because I like it a little spicy. You can store this in your refrigerator for about, about four to six weeks, covered in a jar. Okay, this is my salad dressing tip for you. You need a pinch of salt, just a pinch. Then we're going in with some granulated garlic. We're gonna go in with some crushed red pepper. We're gonna go in with some parsley. And I think I want some Italian herbs in there too. I'm not putting a lot of fresh or any fresh in this one here because I wanna store it in my refrigerator for quite a while. So that way it'll keep a little longer. If you're gonna use it right now, you can add your fresh onions. You can add some more of the, um, of the green onion in there also. But look at that, it's nice, it's colorful. You have just a pinch of salt to counterbalance some of the sweetness in here. And this is a nice honey mustard vinaigrette. Nice and simple. And just put that in a jar. In fact, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk right over here. And this is how I like to present when I'm doing a party. So upgrade your parties. Or if you're not having a party, when you're just uh, cooking for your family at home, do a little upgrade. Everything doesn't have to come right from the refrigerator in the jar that you're storing it in. Look at that. I'm gonna put that in a glass. Glasses are not just for drinking. Put that in there. Sit that by your salad. Let them just scoop out the salad dressing that they want. That's how we do this here. So again, as a recap, we have our sauté shrimp salad. We are, I'm gonna call this our AARP healthy sauté shrimp salad. We have our lettuce, we have our shrimp, we have some onions, we have tomatoes in here. We can top it off with a little bit of cheese, but I don't wanna put cheese on mine, but you can put cheese on yours if you choose to. And we have our tomatoes in here, honey, vinegar, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, everything that's healthy for your body. So folks, I want you to eat a little healthier out here. I want you to stay safe because that's what we're all about is keeping our seniors healthy, safe, and informed. And share a meal with a friend. Here you go. Thank you.
Bravo, bravo, bravo. Let's give let's give Chef Celeste a round of applause, everyone, if you can. Let's give her a round, Chef. Awesome work. Awesome work. Yeah. Hope y'all can hear me. I'm talking. Hope oh, yeah, good. Wow, Chef. Just uh excellent, excellent, excellent video. Um thank you. And I, I love the part where you stated uh we can use the glass. Not it's yeah. not only for drinking, right? You could use it for other things too. Right, so that's right. Awesome. No, that's awesome, man. I mean, so Chef, just just your thoughts real quick before we get to the Q and A's because mm -hmm. they're starting to, to to roll in here. Okay. My question to you would be, you know, if, if I'm sitting here and and I'm focused on this this healthier diet where I'm trying mm -hmm. to eat right, what are some good things that we could do to 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 assist with that? What are some some slight modifications that we can make that can really make a difference. So I, I like to ask that from you, Chef. Okay, the, for me, the most important thing is to not have your trigger food in the house. So my thing, I love potato chips. I don't keep potato chips in the house. If I want some, I would physically have to go to the store and pick them up. And if I do that, I get one single serving bag, not the family size. So you'll start to notice a difference if you remove that from the house. Um, if you have uh, children or grandchildren in the house, then um, that's not a bad habit to teach them also. Keep some healthier options in there. Like in your refrigerator, you can stock um, tomatoes in there, the cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, um, fruit, keep that in, in the house for you. Um, the sweets, you know, kind of, kind of eliminate that. I don't keep sugar in the house. Um, honey, yes, sugar, no. Um, I have a child that would love to eat all the sugar. So I learned early on, take that out. And, and those are some of the best tips. Switch from um, using a lot of oil. Get you some nice olive oil. You can get a, you can get a vegetable blend in there also. Um, but as far as having, putting a lot of butter in your food, I don't put a lot of butter in the food. Let the, the person that's actually going to eat the food add these items if they would want them in there. And what I noticed, if you cut out some of those items, you're not really going to miss a whole lot of it. When I'm cooking vegetables, I like to call it clean food. There's no meat or meat byproducts in the vegetables. And some of you may be like, really? What? But yes, you can put some onions in there, put some peppers in there, um, some black pepper, spice it up a bit, and you will not miss the meat. Have the meat on the side of the plate as the entree, but not throughout all of the different dishes. What do you think about that, Troy? No, I think that's great. I, I think being being creative, what it does, it, it gets you out of, out of out of a routine as, as well. As you're thinking, mm -hmm. that's the only way that I could eat this food. But no, I mean, I, I, I'm with you 100%. I love the olive oil concept and just mm -hmm. changing it up. I love my little grape tomatoes where I can just pop them in myself and eat them. And, yes. and wow, I just hope, I know this is being recorded, but I hope my mom doesn't see this because she's going to be upset with me. Uh -huh. Onion. I used to tell her when I was a kid, I do, I do not want onions. I do not, I do not, I do not. And just the other day I prepared something and... I'm going to make an, I'm going to admit to everyone, I ate some onions. I cooked it okay. down, it tasted great, and now it's, it's good for you. So, uh, mom, I'm sorry, but, <laughs> you know, I'm going to continue to eat my onions for sure. So, uh, mm -hmm. I think what we'll do now, Chef, no, Chef, that, that was a great okay. explanation. What we'll do now is we'll get, we'll get Jessica on here, and we'll see if we have some questions, Jessica, from, from the, uh, the audience, the, the attendees, and, um, Jessica will come on and, see, and let us know if we have some questions. So go right ahead. Okay. Yeah, we have a couple. Um, so some of our guests want to know what restaurants you own or work at, or can you tell us about your professional life? Okay, well, I have Chef Celeste Bistro downtown. That's at Fifth and Main inside the farmer's market. And I also have Chef Celeste Bistro in Perkins Row inside the Mirror Medical Center. Right now we're sitting inside of 520 Spain event space. So this is where I do private events here or, or different people will rent this one out. Um, speaking of seniors, I am the dining coordinator for um, East Baton Rouge Council on Aging. So that's a lot of gratification knowing that we help to provide food for a large population of seniors 
in and around the Baton Rouge area. So yes, that's that's a, a little bit of what I do. Yeah, you stay busy. Yes. <laughs> and, and also, Chef, I'll jump in real quick just before the next question. I know uh, we have one of our guests on here, Mary Washington. Mary, you're familiar with Chef at the senior centers, right, Mary? Is that correct? <laughs> 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 yes, I am. And we love Chef Celeste. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, but you, yes. like, you like something else about Chef Celeste. What is that, Mary? You like something about her? Those, something with her spices? You think those, sweet, those spices. Oh, I would love to uh, win some of those spices. When you were on the Lotus Center, I wow. tried, but I couldn't get through. I never did win anything. And I said, oh, Troy, ask her to please uh, uh, bring, uh, raffle some some of her wonderful seasoning that I hear the seniors talk about mm -hmm. how wonderful it is. <laughs> well, I am going to drop off another shipment to them to raffle off. Oh, thank you. Man. I would definitely right. do it. Thank yes. you, Mary. Awesome. Okay, great. You know, I had I had to I had to bring Mary in because uh, Mary sits on our one of our volunteer teams here in Baton Rouge, and uh -huh. always when I when, when we brought up this first concept. As the first thing that Mary said, Mary and then Melba and Florence, mm -hmm. what they mentioned was the spices and, it, and the senior centers and the Masons. They, they mentioned that. So I said, you know what? I'll make sure to make that part of our program today. So okay. thank you, Mary. Awesome. Yes. awesome. Jessica, back to you with questions. Keep sure. those questions coming, folks. Yeah. Keep them coming. Yeah, keep them coming. Um, but Ms. Mason is wondering how you can incorporate uh, other proteins. So she specifically asked about chicken breast. Okay, if you incorporate chicken breast, you want to cook the chicken breast first because that's gonna take about, um, if it's a boneless, skinless, it'll take about a good 10 minutes to cook. You can also cut it up into strips or chunks before you cook it and do the same thing that we did with the shrimp. So it's really no different. You're gonna season it the same. Um, the only difference will be the cooking time, okay? Nice. Uh, so, Mr. Simmons is asking uh, about tomatoes. He says he loves them, but he's heard that they're not good for arthritis. Do you know anything about that? Have you ever heard that? I have not heard that one, but I can answer that question on the next video. When we do the next q and I will have an answer for that. Oh, yes. that, that's great. That's a great plan, actually. That's awesome. Great. So, Thank Chris, we'll see you at the next one, and maybe she'll have some more information after she right. does some research. <laughs> and don't forget, uh, sign up for the next one, June 30th, okay? Just throwing it out there, everyone. Speaking right. of the next one, I do have a challenge for everyone, or, or something that I think would be fun, because I know you send out the recipe ahead of time. Yes. Um, prepare your dish. Tell me what you think about it and how you like it and what you would change. So mm -hmm. uh, it's truly interactive. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to put I'm going to put a note in the chat for everyone that prepare the dish next time. I'll make <laughs> sure that uh, I'll get you the recipe at least a week before. OK, everyone, because I have the recipes, I'll make sure you get the next one for next for on the 30th, a week ahead and we'll get that done. So perfect. Good challenge. Yes. So, and um, Ms. Snyder wants to let you know, Chef, that um, one of the viewers today grew up in, just west of Detroit. Okay. So from the same area as you. Hey there. <laughs> yeah. So, Troy, that's, um, that's about all we have for questions. And so unless anyone wants to drop more or to speak up, yeah, I'll back uh, to you. Right, absolutely. Um, and we just, just received something here. Um, you know, just want to say thank you, Chef. We love the way you incorporated the food safety points in the recipe. Enjoy the presentation. Thank you. And that was from Roseanne. So, Roseanne. Well, thank you, Roseanne. <laughs> so, I do want to have a question I want to just, just talk to you about. Ask, you know, Chef, what, you know, what, what, what was something that really drove your passion? for the culinary, you know? What was it something I've always wanted to ask? I like to ask chefs, uh -huh. you know, what is it that really inside of them said, you know what, this is what I want to do and, and I can make a difference. You know, I remember when I met you, Chef, back in uh, in 2017, I had just started with AARP uh -huh. just in December and we had a huge event um, with, uh, with, with, with Brick here in Baton Rouge, the Recreation Center. And at their, their location, there was an unbelievable 
spread that chef put out. I mean, it was fruits, it was vegetables, carved up, it was unbelievable. And I just went, this is an artist here. You know what I mean? This is an artist at work. So would love to just find out, you know, what is, where does that love come from? And I know you might have mentioned it earlier, but just share with our, our attendees, where does that love for the culinary arts come from with you? Well, it, it comes from early childhood and it's just, when it's something that's in you, you know. So um, as a child, I was in the kitchen with my parents, um, well, mainly my mom and my grandmother, about four to six years old, I would help peel the potatoes and make the potato salad. Um, going to the grocery store, I would seek out new things that we hadn't tried at home. And my parents were open-minded to that. So we would, they'd let me pick out some things in the grocery store. I would come home and taste it. And as I got older, um, you know, just cook up different things. I found myself as a teenager catering little functions, but, and to tell you the mind of a teenager, I'm not going to be a chef. I just love to cook. <laughs> so um, I, I was doing all these things and, and I'm gonna tell you all something that I've never told anyone before, Ooh. but I used to have nightmares about food. So, um, and this was like from late teens on up to mid twenties. Right. Tomato would be chasing me, and I'm, I'm waking up and I'm like nightmares because this tomato is chasing me, or or some other type of food is chasing me. And I changed my major in college quite a few times, wow. and then I took a leisure baking class. From that leisure baking class, it just brought all of that love of cooking to the surface, and I I just could not imagine myself doing anything else. So that's when I became a chef. I was actually 30 years old. No more nightmares about food. And right. I just look at that as that was my calling saying, this is what you're supposed to do. So, um, and I love helping people. I love um, teaching people what I do. Um, and, and it just feeding seniors, uh, my first, my second job when I graduated was at a retirement community. And I love the, it's instant gratification when you can take someone that's had a lot of years here and now you're helping them through food because food feeds the body, feeds the soul. So you're still reaching people no matter what you do through food. So and then when it's out here catering, um, we just did a wedding the other day and the bride walked in and her eyes just lit up. And I love the opportunity to express my artistic views through food for your enjoyment. That's what I do. You know, and I think that's, uh, that's the key, you know, um, I, we, I want to thank you, you know, for sharing that, um, you know, that's awesome. But, you know, just want to, and Chef, we got, we got more comments coming through our chat here. Uh -huh. uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, we have, a, we have a special guest, uh, Miji Jordan. Miji, just, Miji is one of my colleagues that works out in Mississippi. Uh -huh. Decided she wanted to come and check out our, our, our Healthy Living um, series with Chef. And, um, and, and Miji's shout out is thank you, Chef. Everything looks great and healthy. And uh, I want to give Miji a shout out uh, for uh, joining us today. Uh, she's a She's a great colleague and um, just recently got a new promotion into this role. So, and I know she's going to bring great things to the Mississippi AARP. So uh, glad you're with us today, Miji. All right. And then we also have uh, Melba. Melba said, thank you, Chef. I met you at a B-R-M-I-A-M-I -I Kids when you prepared meals for our board meeting. That's Melba Moya. Yeah, Hi there. Yeah. Chef, you know everybody, Chef. You know, <laughs> right? You I've know, been here a while. Was that now? Say again. I said I, I've been here a while. We'll attribute <laughs> to that. And then, uh, uh, Chris, Chris mentioned to us that uh, he enjoyed the demonstration. He'll be on. They'll be on vacation on June thirtieth, but they'll miss the next one. But we'll plan on joining on the twenty eighth. And I can assure you, Chris, that I'll have. Uh, both recipes will be in your mailbox, I mean, your email box, and you'll have plethora of time to go ahead and get it, uh, to get it, to get everything done. So that'll be fan, fantastic there. So uh, uh, the, Natalie and Alfred Mason, thanks, Chef, for the presentation. 
uh, me just saying hello to everyone. Uh, but but you know, I guess in 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 what we'll do is we'll we'll wrap it up. But I just want to say, Chef, thank you so much for um, what you do for the community, and uh, because I know you you have a giving back spirit, you give back to this community here, and 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 like I said, your 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 work is is um not only statewide, but with world renowned, world known as well. And, you know, I, I just, we just appreciate that you, uh, you know, you create things here with that Louisiana flair and you promote it and it's, uh, and it's all positive and you're doing great work. And we're just honored that you uh, are, are working with us. And, uh, you know, I cannot, you know, thank you enough. I mean, for being a, a veteran that have served this country. And then now in your second mission, in the culinary arts and now you're serving it again. So you found your second mission to go out there and serve in life. So we can't uh, thank you enough. And I'm gonna stop there and, I, and <laughs> give you the final words to go ahead and share with everyone here and, uh, and what we get to look forward to for the next one on June 30th as well. Well, thank you, Troy, for those kind words. And folks, what I would like to say to you is change it up a little bit. What can you do to make your diet or your lifestyle a little healthier? We don't have to go overboard. We just need to make small changes for, and you know what change it is that you need to make. So let's do that. Uh, coming up next, I believe we have our jer Jamaican jerk chicken Ooh. recipe coming up. Ooh. I think that's yes. another good one. Yes. That's that's so good one. Um, definitely tune in for that one. I bet this is a recipe that, um, I found and I love when I actually went over to Jamaica and everywhere I go, I try and learn something from someone. So I'm going to bring that back to you. Okay. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> well, Bye -bye. chef, uh, thank you for that. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I remember when I spoke to you, you said that you were going to Jamaica, Troy, I'm, I'm leaving for Jamaica tomorrow or something. I got you told me. <laughs> and now you're bringing something back. So, Hey, what a treat. Not only yeah. we get, you know, some, some good local Louisiana food, but now we get it back, you know, over international waters from Jamaica. So you can't, can't beat that recipes from there. But, but again, I want to just thank um, everyone. Well, before I go, does anyone else have any questions? Any, anything you want to ask Chef before we let her go for today? Uh, I'm just looking in the chat. I don't see anything, but I want to thank everyone for taking their time to join us today. Um, I appreciate it. Also want to share with everyone that uh, we will have the entire the entire series. It will be recorded. It's being recorded now, and it's going to be put it onto our um, our YouTube channel. And then we'll be, you'll be able to go back and refer back to it and look look at it in case you missed anything. But we're just uh, excited that you're here. Um, you know, myself from AARP, and you know, with our our mission is to ensure that we have our members uh, living the, their best life as they age. In addition to that, live in healthy living solutions, and this is part of it. Cannot wait to see everybody on June 30th. Very excited about that. And um, I wanna thank everyone for being here today. And um, Jessica, just to make sure I'm clear, this will be recorded and put on our YouTube page, right, my friend? Is that correct? That is correct. Perfect. It takes a, a little bit of lead time there, but you can check back in a day or so. <laughs> right. Everyone, let's give Jessica a round of applause. Oh, because look, she made it happen today. She maneuvered some yeah. videos and there were some issues with the link. So if anyone had issues with the link, I'll make sure that those links are um, up to date and correct for the next one. But in the meantime, everyone have a great day. Thank you for, your, for being here today. And most importantly, stay healthy, stay safe, and make sure yeah, you know, that, you, that you really um, you know, cook your food, you know, cook something good, you know what I mean? And follow the recipes, cook something good, and like Chef said, do something different. So until next time, we'll see everyone on, on June 30th. Take care, be on the lookout, and, uh, and be on the lookout again for that recipe coming to you probably early next week. So take care, everyone. Thank you, Chef. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Take